In FijiCam 2015, pinch and follow turning can now be chosen as a strategy operation for machining components using the face or back face cycles. By machining the component in such a fashion, the cutting forces are well balanced as the tools cut in opposing directions to each other. In this example you can see we've got a geared shaft component that we wish to machine. We're going to select our machine tool from this folder location and in this case you can see we've got a folder with a skeleton post. In this case this is a, a twin turret machine but it has no subspindle. I'm just going to drag and drop that straight into the FeatureCam interface to load this post. Going down to the part view we can now see we've got a number of features already pre-created. I'm just going to turn these off and just concentrate on turn one pinch and follow positive turn cycle. If I view from the top of this component just do a single step simulation. So as a centerline simulation we can see here we've got the traditional approach of doing a turn type cycle with both tools, in this case doing a pinch operation cutting towards the chuck. In this particular instance the cutting force is towards the chuck. There is a small amount of cutting force down the x-axis but this isn't as well balanced as it could be. What we've done is we've implemented a new function which in this case if I go to the strategy page you can see here I've gone from a turn cycle to a face type cycle and in this case you can see we're still doing a turning type operation but we now have the option to choose whether we pinch or follow turn our component. In this case I'm going to select the pinch type turning same as the previous operation and we can see the preview here of the orientations of the toolpath segments. I have to say OK to that and just play the centerline simulation. You can see the tools come into the similar sort of position, but now they are cutting in opposite directions to each other, pushing towards each other, like so, and directing the nice balanced force towards each other around the component. We can continue to play this to see the full effect of the toolpath. Viewing this as a 3D simulation, I'm going to turn on my facing operation, go into my 3D simulation, I get my initial turn, and you can see the tools both come into position and then cut in a pinch fashion, like so. We can also choose to do a follow type operation, so I can switch from pinch to follow choose apply. Again if we do a centerline simulation you'll see our initial face and then we get the two cuts that are staggered as one tool follows the other to remove the material for the next scan line. Again we can view this in a 3D simulation You can see the effect of the follow is quite easily identified by the coloured banding on the component. Now in this instance if I choose a machine simulation, this particular machine doesn't have a subspindle. So in order to machine the back of the component we need to choose a back face type operation. So again if I choose the next toolpath, so this is a turning operation using the turn type cycle. Again we've got pinch turning, but in this case we are cutting in a positive direction to cut away from the chuck. Again if I do a centerline simulation you can see we get something like that. So just the same as we saw with the face type cycle, the back face cycle is exactly the same, you just simply choose the back face operation and again we can choose whether we pinch or follow turn. Play in the centerline simulation, you'll see the tools come into position and again cut in opposing directions to provide a nice balanced cutting force.
So to finally finish off this part, I'm going to switch on all of the operations. I'm just going to switch off the conventional methods. So I've now got multiple operations on my part. And then play this as a 3D simulation. just to complete the component.